Okay, welcome to my Thaumatrope example. Um, this is a really fun, kind of cool way to um, combine our observation skills with our imagination. Um, so what you're gonna need is some yarn. You're gonna need a tracer of some sort. So I'm using my Chips Ahoy circle. Um, a cardstock, which is a thicker, slightly thicker paper. You're gonna need a hole punch and your pencil, scissors, and a pen, okay? So um, the first thing you're gonna do is take your tracer and place it on your paper and um, draw your circle. And then you're gonna take your scissors and cut out your circle. Remember that um, with your scissors, we're gonna stick to the back half of the scissors as we're cutting. And you're turning the paper, not the scissors as you go. And notice that I'm not going all the way to the end with my scissors. If you remember my demonstration um, from our first unit or second unit, um, we don't wanna go all the way to the edge. We wanna stick it to the back end. So right around this part of the scissors. And I'm cutting and turning my paper to get it as exact as I can. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. And remember that you are a human being, so you do make mistakes. And one thing that um, is exciting about handcrafted items is knowing that a person actually made them not a machine and you're not a machine. So make sure that when you're cutting, it's okay to have a little blips and things that are not perfect. Okay, so the next step, now I'm going to go fast through this for sake of demonstration, but I really want you to take your time. Now I have this um, almond extract or vanilla extract bottle, which I think is an interesting shape. You guys can choose anything from the class. We have a bunch of cool bottles. And um, I'm gonna try to draw this from observation. Now I could do some visual measuring, I can do some contour drawing, I could do um, gesture drawing and then clean it up with a contour after if I want to. Um, I'm actually, for the sake of my circle to fit it in, I'm actually going to change my proportions of my bottle a little bit so that it really fits in my circle. You can choose to do that or you can choose to draw exactly what you see. So I'm gonna start with my cap. I'm gonna add my cap in here. And I see that there's like a little dip here. And if I do this kind of symmetrical, right? My, my sides kind of go like this. Now again, I am making my bottle squat. So all of my proportions are getting to be a little bit more squat than, my, than actual reality. And I'm doing that again so it can fit into my thaumatrope circle. All right, so once I have my bottle drawn, how I want it to be drawn, I'm gonna go ahead and take my marker or my pen and ink that in, okay? So I'm picking my lines that I wanna include. My stripes get a little bit um, more spaced out in the middle and they get closer together as they get closer to the edge. Now again, remember I kind of made my bottle more squat than it actually is in reality because I wanted to make sure it fit in my circle. You can choose to do that or you can choose to do it the right way. Um, right way, meaning like more accurate proportions from what you see. But I really want you to take a look at that object that you are drawing and try to draw it the best you can from observation. Now notice I'm going back, uh, my ink is dried, I'm gonna go back and erase my pencil lines. Okay, now I wanted to show you that I made this first version and silly me flipped it over and drew a fish um, that would be the creature that I'm going to fit inside. So I'm going to do one side, I'm going to do my container or my jar, something that's containing. And on the other side, I'm going to draw some imaginative um, creature that would might be found inside. So it's kind of fun. So in my case, I didn't really do an imaginative. It was more, you know, 
something that exists, a fish. But what I did was I flipped it over and made it exactly um, where it would be if I were to hold this up to the light. My, my drawing on the back side, my jar kind of fits right around here. The optical illusion does not work like that because I'm flipping my images back and forth. So what I need to do instead of actually flipping it over this way from right to left, I need to actually flip it over, so if this is the right way, I need to flip it over like that and imagine this being the top of my jar. So if this is the top of my jar, for example, and I've got my, my jar right here, let's just say something like this, okay? I need to create a creature that's gonna fit inside there. So um, if I'm gonna do a fish, let's say, I wanna make sure my fish is here. And do you know what's another great tool that you could use that's really fun? You could use tracing paper, right? So I could use my tracing paper, place that on top of here, trace my jar, flip this over this way, and transfer it onto my piece here and then I would fit my item inside the jar and then I could erase my jar. So let's see, so here's my fish. Okay, and maybe he's got some bubbles like, oh my gosh, like he's got a little exclamation point. I don't know, maybe there's some seaweed in there and some stones, I don't know, right? I'm just making that up real quick for sake of demo. And then I'm going to ink it. And the reason why I'm inking all of these is to make it very clear when I flip back and forth, I wanna make sure I can see my image really, really clear because that's what actually makes the optical illusion. Okay. So now I'm gonna take my pencil, erase any pencil lines. Okay, and then I'm going to take my hole puncher and I'm going to punch a hole on either side. Okay, I'm going to take an arm's length of yarn, or I can use rubber bands, or I can use string, whatever I've got handy. So for us, I've got yarn. So this is an arm's length, right? From my hand all the way up to my shoulder or my armpit. And then I'm going to cut that in half. So I folded it over, cut that in half. Take, so I now have two of the same length, right? So I'm gonna take my one length, fold that over, squeeze or pinch the loop area, and put it through my hole. Doesn't matter which side you put, put it through the hole. And I'm going to open up the hoop or the loop, and I'm going to grab the tail and pull it through. And then I'm going to knot the ends. You can knot or, or not. Not either way, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Fold it over, pinch the loop, place through the hole, open up my loop, grab the tail, pull it through, make a knot on the end if I want to. Okay, so now when I go to um, make this work, what I need to do is make sure that I'm turning my yarn in both, both yarns in the same direction, meaning if I'm twisting it, in this case, I'm twisting it to the top, right? So it's going to the right, to the top, okay? And on this side, I need to, I need to do the same. So I'm gonna twist it so it goes to the top. So it's pointing, my twist is going this way. And you can twist it between your fingers. You can twist it by kind of twirling it. All right, 
And then when I hold it and let go, I should see my fish in the bottle. So let's see if that made the optical illusion that I wanted to. Hopefully I did this tight enough, let's see. Did that work? Did you see it? Might be hard on camera. So hopefully that works for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Enjoy.